Hey YouTube, this is Mickey D with episode 94 of Stationeers. Hey David, welcome back. Hey MacGyver. That's funny, I actually turned my volume up. And because my like, guy's got lung damage, he's like breathing like he smokes like six packs of cigarettes a day. <laughs> I just noticed that, that was kind of funny. Um, <coughs> anyway, uh, we, we have a random guy up in the wall somehow. Uh, I kind of freaked me out when I walked in. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm assuming he climbed in up here. Is there a way in over there? No, I don't know how he got in up there. It's, uh, oh, I guess right there. Yeah. Eh, that's a little interesting. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, skeleton in the closet. Yeah, he will become one eventually. I did have a s random skeleton pop up over here too, but seems to have uh, disappeared now. Um, so this does seem to be working. Uh, okay, let me change that. The circuit seems to be working. This does not seem to be working. Um, and uh, it's actually, it was working, and now I'm watching it slowly drop in temperature. So I, it, it seemed like it started to work and then it just kind of doesn't. So I guess first thing we're going to try to do is uh, seal off the floor and see if that lets it, you know, basically be in an enclosed space and hopefully maybe that'll start working. And we're getting a really weird, it's coming from over here, but I don't know what would be making it. Guessing it's the heaters. Oh, my jetpack went dead. That's right. <coughs> yeah, so that's funny. Let me kind of <laughs> just it's ignore the guy in the window. And uh, yeah, so I did kind of uh, I got some stuff kind of crafting and smelting up and whatnot in preps of uh, the uh, big section. I was hoping we were going to be able to jump right onto that and uh, the uh, addition there, but fortunately not. So I think I turned about uh, 200 steel into about 100, uh, 105, so a little over 200 steel. Oh. Uh, I wish I could have been slept I spent about five hours doing my taxes. So at least thankfully they're all done. Uh, yes. So we want, uh, actually one of these is not that one. Oh, that one's empty too. Okay. And I'm wondering if we're actually almost out of uh, nitrogen. Because it's not... Uh, no, I just hadn't equalized all the way. All right. So how do we want to do this? I'm assuming... Uh, I guess I'll just pull off the walls, do it that way. I don't know. Oh, actually, we can't put floor we can't put walls down all right so we're gonna have to move that radiator um yeah because we can't the tank you can't put walls down to act as like floor because the tank's there um i'm pretty sure that does not let us do that but we'll double check here if we can do that i want to try that first and wrong tool and uh, let's get that out of there so we're not dropping these all over the place. And I'm going to keep falling in that. I know it. Uh. Okay. And actually, why we're... Uh, I really want to seal that up, but I have a feeling we're going to end up going down there in a minute. Uh, do we have any... Well, we get steel frames, which we can actually just combine with the ones in our... Oh, well, I guess we can't combine them. Uh, actually, we 
we're not going to combine them because we don't actually need all these in here right now. Uh, and I uh, should have thought about it, but I need to make up. Uh, we don't have to do it right now, but we're going to have to make up a lot of pipes. So let us see. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I wish my taxes were like they used to be when it was, you know, just like a couple W-2s, one for my wife, one for me, and, you know, that was pretty much it. And now it's W-2 for me and a 1099 for her, and she runs a business, and we have rental properties, and it's just like crazy. Uh, school loans and mortgage interest and, uh, and just stuff from everywhere. And then since she's self-employed, we have to claim all of her mileage. And then we have all of our expenses from building repairs. And uh, so, all right, what did I come in here for? I got uh, wall sections. That's right. How's our power doing? Uh, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. Uh, all right, I guess we don't have any wall sections. And a nice little pause. Uh, no, we, we do have some pipes made up. Um, I was We're not going to need them right, right away, so I'll probably get those running later on. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. And how much... Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't want to make that many pipes. Because that would be uh, pipe, pipe, pipe. Because we have, we have a few. I mean, we have like 40, we have like about 50 or so pipes. But when we do the new plumb in the new building, we're obviously going to use a ton of them. Uh, yeah, that would be like 500 pipes. No, I needed the wall sections. And six is actually enough. Seven's even better, I guess. No, I was just, uh, I was mentioning on the way back that I had meant to make some when I was making the wall sections. and uh, <coughs> But the pipes, I don't really like to walk away from too long because I end up having a huge, huge, giant pile. Um, but I do got to, one of these days, maybe we'll do stackers. Oh, it will put them down. Okay, nice. So we'll try this then. I did not think that was going to work. So if we do this, it'll seal that floor. Very nice. Okay. And if this doesn't work, then what we're going to do is move the... Um, ah... <sighs> We can still use this to seal the floor, but either we're going to need more heaters or we're going to need the um, the radiators to... Oh, did, did... Okay, yeah, the radiator valve is shut. Yeah, that's what I was going to... Yeah, that's where I was going before I decided to stop and check that, um, is that if this doesn't work then we're going to probably move the radiators and close them and then we will put um, heaters or maybe we'll just do the heaters right down there we'll do the heaters in there uh well no because we can't well yeah if we put floor down we could cover those in so let's see we're at 245.9.1 see so we're still dropping 245 and that's the actual, that's reading off of the tank itself. So I would think, I mean, we're, we're obviously putting heat out in there. And we didn't do something silly, like forgot to put the ceiling on it, did we? Okay, good. I mean, I would think that four heaters should be putting out enough heat to heat up that tank. Uh, 
Oh. Well, now it's climbing. Okay. So we'll keep an eye on it. I guess two forty five point nine two. I want to put a um, and we'll probably actually do it right now. Is uh, I want to put a pressure display and the temperature display on there. Um, so we'll probably do that real quick. And uh, while we wait for that to heat, because that way I don't have to keep. I mean, right now I'm just pulling it off the sensor, but once I have the uh, the grate back down, obviously that's not going to be um, possible. And okay, so we got two, two gas displays. Uh, do we have any consoles? We do. We have three. Very nice. One extra. So if that works, then that's a pretty simple, easy change slash fix. Uh, we don't have. Okay. Shoot. Uh, how are we going to want to do this? Which we're going to have to pull those off, which means it's going to be leaking. But we can deal with that. Uh, I don't think it's going to let me put no, no. And it's not going to let me put inside because now we have the floor in. Uh, I just want to put displays right there. Maybe I'll just stick, uh, I don't want to put them there. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll just stick them right there. It's not really where I wanted to put them, but... I think uh, <coughs> we're 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 kind of limited by the designs of the devs. All right. Yeah, I kind of wanted them right on the tank, but it's all right. We can tie right in. We'll stick one there, one there. As long as we get a readout, that's all we really need. And one of these days. I will stop falling in this hole. All right, and we can tie right into those circuits. Uh, you know what? Before we do anything else, because otherwise I will keep falling in those holes. We shouldn't actually need to access any of this anymore, so I say that, but you know that means we'll have to pull it right back up in about 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> that is weird. Some stuff pops right back up on through the ground when you put stuff down, and some stuff will actually stay underneath there, which is funny because every occasionally I find uh, um, I'll find like a steel plates or something underneath there that I kind of missed when I was, you know, moving stuff around. I uh, probably don't actually need those. We should. Uh, no, we don't actually have any in there. All right, so we'll do that. Now, mm, 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 how do we want to do this? Well, we'll just do something like that. Oh, 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 you had to move. All right. And do a junction. All right, now I'm going to want to basically break all that for a minute. Oh, that up there? Yeah. And I like it because we can keep an eye on it to see if they're actually on or not. Ah, uh, and the glass. Did we leave glass out here? Well, we can do some cleanup. Uh, steel sheets. Steel sheets. Here, let's take that down there. Circuits. And that can come. Yeah, we'll leave it down there for now. All right. Uh, no lights. Yeah. And thankfully, we actually do have all the uh, resources that uh, Mal grabbed yesterday. I'm waiting for one of those days that's going to switch to a skeleton. 
we should have plenty of glass sheets yes which reminds me we do need to go grab some silicone at some point because this is well no actually we have 100 silicone in the machine so we can make some more glass if we need to oh and of course i moved it the very last second and we're gonna leave oh look at the reflection on that huh all right, power, power, and reconnect that line. Uh, actually, no, we don't want that line reconnected yet. That's why I disconnected it. Oh, I can't actually... Oh, that's a pain. All right, I guess we do need power. I think I can at least program it without it connected. Ah, oh, that's going to suck. Because we're going to read everything in the uh, other pipe analyzer. Should hopefully be that one. That looks about right. Because that one's on the, uh, the valve doesn't, this doesn't open unless it hits above 300, so. And pipe analyzer, large tank, temperature. Okay, that should be it. So, yes, yeah, so, so the temperature's dropping. Unfortunately. Yeah, so it doesn't look like that's working. Ugh. So what we'll do is we'll move the heaters. And... Okay. So what we'll do is uh, all right, we're gonna change this a little bit. Cause if we're gonna have the heaters in here, we're gonna want this to seal up. So I wanna be able to fill this block in. Which we can't do if it's got radiators in it. Now we can let the pipe run around it, that's fine. And we can let the end stick out. That's fine, too. Okay. And I think what we'll try to do is... Uh, there we go. Oh, three. Yeah, we'll try right like that. Uh, so now probably what we're going to do then is, uh, uh, this is probably going to crash our atmospherics. I would not be surprised. And we'll go ahead and... Oh, yeah, let's not put a random one in there. There's the line up there. And it does tie into our radio. Oh, that's the one coming from the... Uh, no, wait a minute. Oh, that's the AC line. That's right. Which we will want someone there. Okay. So, we're going to pull those. Luckily, our power's right there. Use a stack to supply a furnace to create heat for passive radiator. Oh. Oh, you mean not like an arc furnace? Um. Yeah, I guess. I mean, as long as you're feeding it with ores. I mean, we could also do the. Uh, I thought about two. Is uh, we could just. Uh, and 
I don't know if there's an option yet. If well, I don't know if we can do it or not. Um, I guess there's unused, or there was unused triggers for the um, uh, for the gas generator, um, supposedly to trigger um, how much output it's running at, basically. So you can either like you know run it a hundred percent or run it at like five percent or you know something along those lines, um, because we would get hot gases uh, from the furnace from the uh, generator as well, and uh, we could just have it basically, you know, run at a very low rate, um, just to uh, you know produce some some heat out of it. Yeah, get that. Anyway, let's uh, pull that wiring back up since we're not going to need it there now. And I was really hoping that was going to work the way it was set up. I kind of like being able to see the uh, heaters in there. Come on. Oh, now you're going to decide to fall down in there. All right. So that is good there. And pull that off, that off. And I guess what we'll do is let's see if we can get that. And there should be oh. Come on, come on. Uh, let's see if we can get those. We get them all. I guess we did. All right. So this one we're gonna do the highly efficient thing of looping it back down. Okay. Let's see if we can get back out of there. Very nice. And, uh, yeah, we actually, we are going to, oh, really? Oh, because the cable runs, uh, yeah, we got to loop it around on the other side. Can you use iron frames or steel frames in case that now instead of your, Oh, we we can always use the other frames. Oh, that's weird. What is that wire you're... Oh, okay, it's that. I saw the red and black. I was like, why do we still have a cable there? Oh, come on. Thank you. Okay. Now we should be able to go down through the floor right here if it doesn't want to be a pain. Uh, we can do it that way. All right, very nice. So that'll loop down right to there. Oh, let's go grab the heaters actually, since we are gonna need those. And we're gonna need, uh, Grab the frame blocks and steel sheets. And a heater, a heater, a heater, and a heater. 
All right, so we don't want to stick anything in that block. So we can just do something along the lines of one, two, three, and four. All right. So now if we do corner, and, oh, three-way junction. Yes, that's what we want. Very nice, very nice, very nice. And a corner. All right. So we should now be able to let's grab a block. Oh, yeah, this is where we're probably going to crash the atmospherics. Uh, uh, I didn't want to do it that way. That's all right. I know the pressure is not going to be high enough. Okay, so far so good. Oh, okay, nice. Now we can stick that block in there. Uh, why aren't you letting me build it? Oh, is there, oh, we've already got one in there. It's, Okay. Good. That's sealed. And then what we'll do is we'll just put a door or a wall. Uh, shoot. We're not sealing the bottom. Ah, this will be right. We're on the ground, uh, except for right there. Hmm. You know what we'll do? We got an easier way to do that. No, we just put them on, but we're going to pull them back off again. I'll leave them there because we can reuse those. All right, we're just going to do this. We can just bring this out. One more. Uh, you know what? We might... Eh Yeah, that'll be fine. I'm just trying to think. I didn't want a big extra space there, but I think we'll just do it like that. If it bothers me, I'll just change it later on. Okay. There. Now we're sealed because there's no holes. If we didn't, uh, if I'd used a wall panel, it was going to leave a little gap underneath. Okay, so there now that's a little sealed area. And if we now do that, really? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. And we'll just go ahead and close that up. I guess we leave the windows on the front. Uh, how are we two sheets shorter than what we started off with? Oh, because I combined them earlier. Yes. All right. Uh, so, oh, wait. Why is that not on? Now that's the only thing I don't like. I can't actually look down and see if those are running or not. But if that is 
below negative 4, but below 30 degrees, that should be running. Because uh, we didn't move the transformer. Does the circuit still have power? What did he say about putting these down and then pulling them back up in a little bit? Okay. Why are the heaters not working? Oh, duh. Okay, yeah, I know why. Because uh, we, 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 we put them back down. So I'm going to go turn them on. Because the circuit is only controlling the transformer, not the actual heaters. Okay. And I do want to make sure I set that on the low temp and not... Okay, so we should have a nice little enclosed area in there now. And hopefully we shall see that. Oh, very nice. Look, it is climbing. <coughs> now, the only thing where that is an enclosed area is now when we use that to cool, there's no way to vent it out. So we're going to put a passive vent hooked up. Um... to vent that to space I do believe is what we're going to want to do um, similar to how we're doing for the pollution tank where it's venting that it's opening the digital valve uh, okay I'll stick it right there so it is running and we are climbing 4.9 not very fast but oh you know what oh now that's really weird because that did climb up so it must be heating the space underneath it because you know I just realized that digital valve is off so it's actually not running the radiator up into the tank Which, the, yeah, the pressure is going to drop because it's refilling. It's equalizing with that radiator. Which is probably not going to do work very well if it's... Uh, and what we're going to want to do is... So now, with the way we're changing this, we're basically going to want that radiator to run all the time. Okay, and do I still have that pipe on me? I do, good. Now this will be where the atmospherics crash. It's when you're gonna put that one extra pipe in. Uh, no, thank you. What's the heat? Negative uh, 49, negative, yeah, so it's definitely warming up in there. Thankfully it is a pretty small area, so it should warm up pretty quick. Obviously, it'll warm up faster when we don't have a gaping hole right here. Actually, are we losing any heat over here yet? You know, th them having that a really dark number when you... <laughs> which, I mean, yeah, granted, it's, it's reading because it's cold, but still. Yeah, strangely enough, it doesn't actually act like it's... Unless it's just such a slow, uh, low amount that it's not going to read that it's leaking. All right. So let's. Oops. There we go. What? Oh, that's a wall section. Okay. All right. So. Uh, no, it's negative 60 out here. And it's negative 49.2 here. But this might be dropping because 49.2, uh, 
three, negative uh, 50, something, whatever that's reading to. Um, negative 53.8. So it's going to jump around um, because this is open. So obviously it's not allowed, it's not letting it heat up that area. Um, but it's going to be trying to equalize with the radiators, basically. So we get that sealed up. We could put a... Um, We could put a uh, a pressure sensor down there as well. Now the tank's getting gotten colder. Um, we could put a pressure sensor down there as well. Um, and we could pull the temp off of it. Not a pressure sensor, uh, the gas, the gas sensor. We could put a gas sensor down there and then pull it off and we could pull the temperature off of there to see what it's at. And now this is trying to control that valve, which we've pulled up. But we're going to want to use that in a different spot now. So we'll leave that there. And negative 3. Let's see what this does. Well, this should definitely be working. Oh, it got 0.1 degree warmer. And imagine what's going to happen is that's going to heat up that area underneath um, that's probably going to get warmer uh, faster than the uh, the radiator does. Twenty six point three two. Yeah. So hopefully, what it'll do is once it kind of warms up that area, then the tank should start warming up faster. Um, because the higher the temperature differential, the faster it's going to want to pull heat out of the uh, area. Yeah, so that's that's definitely working. It's just going to take a while, which we could, uh, we are running heavy line, so we could put more heaters down there. Um, no, we can't actually because we're running that transformer. <sighs> we could change it to a large transformer, and then we could put a lot more heaters down there like 19. Yeah, it's, um, I haven't, well, I kind of was going to do it for the main radiator system at one point. Um, and then we haven't really needed to do that. Um, though I, I am still debating on doing that, I should say, but it hasn't really been necessary so far. Okay, and then eventually we'll have that whole line covered with radiators as well, because that ties in for the AC. <coughs> um, all right. So, yep, yep, working. Good. So now we need to add that digital valve that I pulled off. Uh, we've got some pipe. Uh, we need a couple passive vents. And then that'll be it for the system. And luckily, we already have that writer, so we'll just change uh, where that... Uh, we might not even change where that writer's pulling off from, because I believe that's reading from the temperature. Um, and probably what we'll do is we'll set it off of the high temp limit. And I don't think we have any... Yeah. So we'll do this, but we'll see how long that takes. And if it takes too long, then uh, we'll just change that to a large transformer. Oh. And uh, we could throw a whole bunch of heaters in there since it is off the uh, the main line. Oops, yeah, we need two of those. All right, and we should need, uh, how are we doing for, there we go, we'll stock up on our wiring. And we've got pipe out there, so we should be good, we should be able to seal that up now. 
so we're not going to be able to pressurize the base just yet anyway. So, oh, look, we had another one right there. We could have just uh, thrown that one in. Two, nine, nine. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and grab a stack of 20. All right, so where are we going to want to do this at? We could stick it right here. Uh, maybe we'll stick it right on this. Uh, the only question is, is are we going to be able to run... Yeah, we should be able to run a pipe right there. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, we can do that. I want to try to leave it close to here because we're gonna we want to pull off of that um, for that valve. But I, uh, yeah, we'll stick it on this side, just in case it pumps out like it's really hot down there and it opens up. I don't want it to like if we're in here. I don't want it to open up and then all of a sudden you know we're getting cooked by like hot gases. And that wouldn't be good. So we'll stick that there. That there. And we'll go ahead and raise it up just a little bit too. There we go. So, luckily, since... Uh, you're going to tell me you're not going to hook to the pipe. Really? Really? Yeah, that must be the heaters that are making that that are making that noise. Unless it's the transformer. Really? Why? Why are you really? Come on! I'm pretty sure I have put those directly on the pipes plenty of times before. You can tell me I have to fill in a block there. <sighs> I don't really want it on the ground. What if we uh, pull up the... Uh, it's probably not going to work, but... I don't know, because this game does weirder things than that sometimes. No, it's going to make me... Yeah, right there. Come on. Right there. Uh, it's not going to let me place a block there, I'm pretty sure. It might if I pull up the floor, which I don't really want to do because it's heating up that area. Now... Maybe what we'll do is we'll run the inside. Since we, uh, you know what? We might be able to cheat. Hang on, hang on. Let's see if this will work. This might actually work. No, I want to get you out of the way. Thank you. So, uh, I'm going to pull up the floor first. Yes. Turn off my jetpack since I keep wasting that. This one. Uh, uh, yeah, that's all right. Yes. Okay. So we do that. Uh, yeah, that's always a possibility. Um, I'm going to see if it'll let me do it from the inside of the uh, steel sheets. Toss that. Ah. No. I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> Not like we do the... Uh, yeah, because it's going to want to stick it on the outside. Unfortunately, we can't cheat like we do on the other ones. Unless it'll let me know. And I don't want to just do a random thing like that.
yeah. All right. So we'll just, yeah, stick it down behind. All right. So we need the wrench. Actually, let's place it first. Uh, we're going to have to run around that pipe. Because that pipe runs all the way across the back. Uh, we might be able to... Uh, nope, we can't put it there. I could just do something like that, I guess. All right, so what we're going to do is there. We'll put it in like that. Not really what I wanted to do, but it'll work. And we need that. We need the valve. We don't actually need the heavy cable on us right now. I'm done with that. Uh, well, there we go. There's the wall. Oh, yeah, let's uh, pull that up now. We don't need that there. Okay. Steel. Close that back up. Very nice. Close that back up. Did that one open on the top? I could swore I did. Yeah. Must have accidentally done that when we were messing around with it earlier. Not that this matters since we've got the floor in there anyway, separating it out. Okay, we don't need the steel frames. We don't need those steel frames either. All right, so pipe, pipe, pipe. Got the radiator. All right, where's the rest of the pipe? Right there. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it was down, it was up to, well, it was down to negative three in here. But now it's uh, obviously dropping since we opened that up. Okay. Uh, so let's see how do we want to run this. And I think. Uh, it doesn't need to be huge. Uh, actually, that's as far as we need, really. And we'll leave it up there like that, because I want to be able to uh, still walk in here. Oh, actually, you know what we can do? Turn it. straight and straight uh, yeah I'm gonna actually change that again I'm just gonna put it right here that way if we put any more heaters on we've got we got a space for two heaters there and we can put a couple down obviously we can run them line down and we could do a row going across the bottom and a row going across the top too if we really wanted to you know, kind of like speed this up. Okay. Now, uh, do, 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 do. we 
could run the digital valve up uh, underneath here. And maybe have it right there. Okay, we don't ever need to look at it, so that's fine. And the question is, is can we still... Okay, good. As long as we can get in and out of there. Kind of a tight fit. Okay, yep, that's what we want. Really? What's there? There's nothing there. Why aren't you letting me build there? Oh, it's counting it as being underneath the tank. Uh, okay. Well, if you're going to be like that. Then we'll just do something like that. There we go. I don't know if those would actually catch the wiring on fire if it's right in front of it, the, the heaters. Yeah, we can test it and find out. Okay, uh, what do you want to do there? Oh, actually, no, we don't want to do that. Straight section. And hopefully, we should be able to come up right there. All right. Yeah, it doesn't look like that's fine. I'm going to put those other heaters in. Uh, no, I'm not, because we've got to upgrade the, that if we do. So we won't do it just yet. We'll wait and see if we need to do it. And there's that wire. Okay. So... Pull that up. And we can make that a corner. straight and a four-way all right so now we can say that uh, where's that wire let's put that back on all right so so logics writer, which we are going to output. And you know, you think we would have learned enough by now that turn them off while you're programming if it's got power. Because you just end up making really oddball things happen. Oh, yeah, that is kind of neat. I did want to make a swimming pool at some point. Ah, you know what? Where is... There. Otherwise, we're going to pull everything off of the filtration room. 
Oh, yeah, look at that. Kicked it right up. Digital valve. Uh, except. Uh, we need to make sure it's the right digital valve. So we're going to call this uh, tank radiator. Vent. Vent valve. And give me that back. Was it the right one? No, it was not. Okay. Tank Raider Vent Valve. Good. Uh, we were using the Logic Select for this one. Were we? The logic Select was running low temp. Oh. Uh, yeah, we should actually have a setting on that. Valve Rider. Logic writer, low temp on. This was the valve for this. Uh, that seems wrong. Uh, logic select, low temp compare. That one to that one. Logic select. Yeah, let's uh So this was the tank valve select. <laughs> oh. Why is my logic writer outputting to a logic writer? It should be outputting to the digital valve. Digital valve, low temp compare, valve writer on, and we want this to be the valve tank select. And I just passed it. Tank select. Okay. So that should now run that valve. This is why you don't put two valve two two <laughs> logic writers that each control a digital valve right next to each other. <laughs> who 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 had that idea? Alright. Um so this one we want to do that valve and we want to do it off of I think we're going to read off of the high temp compare, right, is less than the high temp or not. Do we not want to do that? What do we want to read this off of? We want to say that if, if the tank is over the high temp, so low temp, is uh, so the temp reader is greater than the low temp limit. Then that would I'll put a one, which is not going to work for there. Yeah, this is where you get the thing where you're trying to use the same readers on multiple ones. Uh, high temp compare is less than the high temp. That's going to output a 1, which obviously we don't want it to open it up when it's less than the, the high. So really, we need, and this is where we keep getting into the things where uh, this is controlling the comparing with that and with the low temp. 
Oh, that's actually a really good idea. Yeah, we might have to check that out. Uh, or we also have the new cladding blocks too, so we could, um, we could put cladding. Uh, I don't actually. I don't know if we can put cladding on top of the walls. I'm assuming that we can't on that, um, since basically that's the the cladding is basically the exterior version of this. Um, but yeah, the pipes is actually a really good idea. Um, yeah, that might. Yeah, hopefully, they'll have something that. Either they'll make those seams meet up or they'll add a another block that we can it'll only go into the corners. Tank reader valve in. So I think we're just gonna want to throw another reader in is what we're gonna do. Because if we if we change those, it's gonna mess up that. Which we don't want because we want that valve to be only working within the high and low range. So yeah, we'll add another, we'll add another compare and we can compare off, oh, which we might actually have over here. Yeah, no, we need a processor. All right, let's go make a processor real quick. And then that should be it. That should uh, get everything up and running. Oh, and we were actually right on the one we needed. I should uh, make a batch of like 10 of these again, because, or all of the uh, the readers, the processors, um, later on, probably when I'm making those pipes, because I can keep an eye on them. Because last thing I do, I, I don't want to end up with like. Though we'd probably use them, but I don't really want to print out like fifty or sixty cheap chips on accident. Uh, technically, that would actually work. Yes, because that would actually tie everything in. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a little, little weird, but okay. All right, so uh, not the four way corner. I seem to like trying to grab those. And why not? We can tie both sides into that memory. All right. So we want to do our... <sighs> we want to say that if... If... Out... And we're going to compare to, so we want to say that if, if the high temp compare is, so if the temp reader is greater than the high temp limit, that's what we want. So temp reader is greater than high temp limit which should be 30 degrees. Yes. Then that will output a one. And we're going to call this the radiator vent compare. Okay, now Ooh. we are going to say radiator radiator vent 
temp compare setting is on tank valve all right and we can go ahead and turn that on we got 25 five, and hopefully we got to seal that back up but it should now be that and we can't actually see it from there which is kind of annoying but if oh you know what we could actually and no I don't want to pull it up because if we do that then it's going to it's going to um we'll have to reset it but so if we do, where's our high temp at? So if we drop this down and that shut off the heaters because it just got quiet. So that's working because it thinks it's over the high temp limit. And now, oh, why did he not kick the valve on? That should have kicked that valve on. Oh, no. We wanted to say... Uh, and we got that lovely, lovely little leg spike there. Yeah, I really hope they fix that. I'd like to see what that is. All right. Did we grab the right one? Tank radiator vent valve, yes. Radiator vent compare on. Oh. Yeah, let's actually turn on the compare. There, now it's outputting a one. Yes, that's what we want. That should be open. Yes, if you actually turn the circuit on, it actually works better. All right. And now if we set this back up to 303, heaters just kick back on because it knows we're underneath the limit and the valve is off. So there. So if the tank is too hot, then obviously it shuts the heaters off. It opens that valve up. It'll equalize with the Martin Ash Martian atmosphere. So it'll drop that down to negative 60, and it'll start bleeding the, the heat off the tank. And that should work. Now we should be able to grab these steel sheets. And so, all right, where is my welder at? Ah, right there. Yes. One of these days we'll actually make a system that it doesn't take us three, three tries. <laughs> <coughs> and a whole bunch of tweaking. But now we know. So the next time we build one of these, uh, we know that we can't heat the tanks up directly. Or at least we probably... Well, no, we know we can't because it was not uh, it was not heating up, so it was actually losing heat. So it wasn't a matter of it just you know taking a while. It just was not working, which is strange because they obviously we know that they bleed off heat. Yeah, we know that they bleed off heat. It's just a weird that you can't uh, you can't basically heat them up that way. And let's uh, take. That. Oh, is that the wrench? Wrench. Yes. There we go.
I never checked on that to see if... Nope, I guess it does line up the same way. Huh. You would think that one side would set on one and one side would set on the other, but I guess not. It actually overhangs the line. All right, anyway. All right, so there we go. If it drops above 300, KPA kicks on, lets it go into the tank. And if the tank is below between 20 and 30, it will open up the valve. If it's below 20, it kicks on the heaters. And if it's above 30, then it will shut off the heaters and open up the vent. So we should, and again, it might take it a while to heat that space back. Oh, no, nope. yeah, we're gaining heat already. But it'll probably, you know, increase in speed as it runs and gets that area warmed up and we get a bigger transfer or temperature differential. Okay, steel sheets. There we go. And we'll get this cleaned up. All right. And yeah, so that should be good. We should be good to go on that. We don't really need the windows in there now, but I kind of actually like the looks of it. And uh, I kind of actually want to go around and put windows all the way around. Though we could actually, since we have the floor sealed, we could leave the, uh, we could take all that off. We actually don't need, uh, we don't actually need them in there. Though, uh, yeah, I think we'll leave the, because if that is, um, if the tank does bleed off the heat, like, it seems to be inside the base, then at least it's only going to bleed it off inside that area. So it's not exposed directly to the negative 60 on the outside. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's getting up there, you know, I mean, we've gotten, uh, decent size amount. I mean, we can't see one side of the base to the other, so. And then our new area, which I'm hoping that's going to be big enough, but if not, we'll just keep expanding out that way. And then, you know, the top of that will be our landing pad. And yeah. And I still want to do something like this, because I don't really like that. Just, it's nice to be able to see it, but it's just kind of like, you know, floating there. So, I don't know. Well, we'll figure out on this one. But it maybe, you know, maybe we'll move this um, in with the uh, stuff because it doesn't actually have to be out here. And uh, wherever we move our drop-off bin because we can have that run through. I mean, I, I like to have one. So we just drop off and then it runs through. And uh, maybe we'll actually put the drop off over here because if we're coming up and I still got to put another stair there when we come up here, you know, maybe we'll have and I might I might push this back a little bit, but maybe we'll have like the drop off like right here and then we'll have our charge and fill station right here. And I think I am going to do the. um push this out and around and do the, you know, the stairs down with the, uh, you know, like we'll come down around this way and come in sometime somewhere on the end over here. Uh, to get inside that section, which actually, no, wait a minute. So that's the ceiling. So we've got one to so our floor would actually be right here so this would be our floor level basically is right around here so we need to drop down 
So maybe what we'll do is just run the staircase down. One, two, and let's see. We might have to change that. Um, yeah, because we, we need four blocks. And eh, let's not run out of jetpack over the giant crater. Yeah, so that'll be... Uh, oh. Yeah, I don't know, because now we're going to end up... That's going to end up sticking us uh, pretty deep. I mean, I guess we could just do it. I don't want to, like, leave a channel there. We could make it part of the tunnel. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out. But I did like the idea of having the door down on that end. And then basically we'll be starting off at the line. But negative 23.9, yeah. So I do have a feeling I am going to probably be changing that out to the large transformer and putting probably a lot more heaters down there. It's just going to be a huge power drain when it... Uh, that just dropped. Okay, now we're still going the other way. Yeah, and actually the pressure should increase as the temperature rises, obviously, because the gas is, you know, expanding. So, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, yeah, I have a feeling we're going to probably put a lot more heaters in there and get some pretty significant heat transfer going on. Um, just because, you know, we, we fixed it for the cooling, um, but with the rate adding those radiators in, um, but we're obviously not going to want to end up with the same kind of like the reverse situation where if we need to heat it up, it's basically just going to sit there and end up, you know, because if the base was running, it would be dropping, you know, whatever's coming through the uh, return is, um, you know, the return of the filtration system. So we're not... You know, we don't we don't want it to hold up the whole system. Kind of like we did before when we came out here and we had 4 MP of oxygen sitting in there and the base was basically kept dropping in pressure. Um, mm -hmm. I wonder if it would be worth it to do it as a small tank, but I don't think it's really going to matter. But it is, it is running, so that's good. All right, we're at um, an hour and 18 minutes, so I'm going to call it good for this episode. Um, I'm probably not going to do another stream tonight. I was planning on doing a couple of them. Um, but since I was up until 4 and 30 this morning doing streams 92 and 93, um, and then I had the fun whole five hours of doing my taxes, I'm actually a bit tired and I've got a headache. So... Um, <clears throat> and I do, oh, he finally died. Is the skeleton stuck up there? No, I guess the skeleton despawned. Oh, I, I would have liked to got a snapshot of the skeleton sitting up there. But, <clears throat> um, yeah, so we'll call it good for this episode. At least, um, you know, we've got this up and running. Uh, we'll probably just end up throwing more heaters in there but that's just a matter of swapping out the transformer and putting more heaters down there so that'll be uh relatively quick and easy um but we'll see i mean it's it's going in a decent clip i'm waiting to see if it gets uh you know once it gets pretty warm down there um, which I would like to actually have a sensor down there. Maybe maybe one of these days I'll just weld myself down in there and see, you know, what it's getting up to. Um, yeah, because that should start really pulling it in. And, and it does bounce down a little bit every now and then. But then it keeps going back up, so that's fine. Yeah, so. All right. Um, I do plan on doing some streams tomorrow. Um, hopefully I'll get on a bit earlier and, uh, you know, we can do a few streams. Um, we'll keep it, we'll probably just run, let that run for now and uh, see, you know, if it picks up to a decent clip on it. Um 
and obviously if it's filtering air through the base you know if we're not dropping off a whole bunch of ice then once it gets up the temperature it should you know it should stay pretty consistent it's only basically when we drop off like a whole bunch of ices or something like that that it's going to drop the tank temp real low so you know a few might be fine but like i said we'll see um as it runs and it, uh, it's actually doing pretty decent so um but my hope is to uh you know get back onto this and start getting this in and you know do a whole bunch of digging and they'll dig the tunnel down over to here and get the you know wiring and um um you know get some of that all roughed in while we're gonna need to do the battery room and and run over for gases and whatnot so yeah that's i, I like to get back to that but anyway yep um uh, thanks guys um yeah have a good night everybody and uh i will see you in the next stream i hope you enjoyed it <laughs> a little uh you know a little progress being made so have a good night and i will see you in episode 95